Hey everyone! In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to use Booleans, Array Mesh, the Twist Deformer, and Bevel Pro to model a cool muzzle break for your next gun project. Before we start, I want to inform you about my free beginner hard surface course for ZBrush. In this course, I will guide you through the ZBrush UI and introduce you to the main tools we are going to use. We'll start with a warm up exercise to practice the necessary workflows. And then we dive right into creating a VR headset step by step. So if you're just starting out or want to have a more detailed explanation of my workflows, this course is perfect for you. You can access the course through the link in the description. Let's start with the cylinder and scale it in the Y axis. Let's go into polyframe mode and switch to our C modeler brush. I'm going to hover over this edge loop, change to the bevel function and bevel this edge. Now I will switch to the insert, multi edge loops, interactive elevation. Let's go to the other side, go to insert, single edge loop. Let's put down a poly loop here, press alt and paint in a new poly group. Q-Mesh, poly group all, and let's extrude this face outwards. And one more time, select the select lasso and select this poly face, reverse the selection and let's give this a new poly group. Let's also extrude this outwards. Let's put in another edge here and delete this one to get like another angle here. And let's bevel in another poly group here. All right. Let's hit group by normals and then crease poly groups and activate dynamic subdivision. Let's duplicate that piece, switch to our gizmo and get in our cylinder, group on normals and increase polygons. Rotate by 90 degree by holding down shift. And let's scale this in the Y axis as well. Turn on subtract and also turn on live boolean. For the next step, we are going to append a cube. Let's scale it in Y and X and also move it out slightly, something like that. Let's go to zero measure, target count of five and detect edges, hit zero measure, all right. Let's have a look from the top and go to Array Mesh. Let's turn on Array Mesh, Lock Position, Reset, Repeat of 6. And let's go to Rotate and put in 360 in the Y amount. All right, so let's hit Make Mesh, Activate Subtraction, recenter our gizmo, hit the gear icon, and go to twist. And now we can pull on this upper cone right here to twist that. Hit W one more time to go out of twist mode. Let's append another cube and move it to the side. in the X direction. Let's mirror and weld and activate subtraction once more. Let's do group by normals, freeze potty group, hit dynamic, and let's go down with the crease level. So we get a nice fall off like that. That looks really nice. 
So before we are committing to the boolean, I want to check my polygroups on the different subtools so I can later use Bevel Pro. So on this, I'd like to have different polygroups on each normal, so I'm going to press Groups by Normals. And because we are already having a chamfer in here, I can give this a single polygroup. And this also looks fine like so. Let's go to our ease mode, turn on multiple selection, make sure everything is selected, go to new folder, let's call it muzzle. And now we are going to hit the gear icon on the folder and hit boolean with subdivision. Let's jump into Bevel Pro. Let's hit reset, fix edges, auto apply and switch to chamfer. And let's have a look. That looks nice and hit OK. Right, that looks super clean. For the screw thread, I'm going into the toolbox and switch to the Helix 3D. I will then go down to Initialize, go to Radius, and pull this point out of this curve. Let's put some more in the L divide, go to Offset, and pull this down slightly. And let's now hit Make Polymesh 3D, go back to our Muzzle, go to Append, and Append the Helix. Let's hit Groups by Normals, Groups Polygroups, and give this some dynamic subdivision, as well as turn on Subtraction and Live Boolean. Let's squish this together a little bit. we get something like that. Create a new folder. And once again hit Boolean with subdivision. And there we have our amazing muzzle. So if you want more insights of my workflows, or want to get a better understanding of ZBrush, look at my free beginner hard surface course, which I designed to be easy to follow as a beginner. You can find the link in the description. Until then guys, take care.